Welcome to a series of short videos where we'll give a quick overview of psychology concepts, rare and strange psychiatric disorders, and other interesting things in the world of psychology and neuroscience. Hypnagogia is a stage of sleep you've almost definitely experienced, but likely did not know the name of. Well actually, hypnagogia is more accurately described as a stage between being awake and the earlier stages of sleep. The opposite stage, coming from sleep into wakefulness, is known as hypnopomia. Most people who have heard of the term likely know it from its association with wakeful sleep paralysis and hypnagogic hallucinations, especially in relation to parasomnias like narcolepsy and insomnia. Respectively, these refer to the experiences of being unable to move and auditory, visual or physical hallucinations during the waking or nodding off stages. A small amounts of the population do experience clinically severe parasomnias. However, normal people actually have experiences of both these phenomena every time they sleep. If you've ever struggled to fall asleep, you might be aware that focusing on that goal seems to achieve the exact opposite. However, if all goes well, you'll have the experience of your thoughts drifting, gradually going from fully aware and direct to, well, a bit rambly. If you wake up at this stage, which can often be due to quite unpleasant hypnic jerk, you probably awake often momentarily disorientated and a little confused about the strange images, noises and maybe even narratives that you've just experienced. Well, in a nutshell, this is what subclinical hypnagogic hallucinations are. The Tetris effect is an example of a highly replicable hypnagogic hallucination, where repetitive visual stimuli just prior to sleep can lead to strong visuals of the activity. So what do we know about this transitional phase of sleep? Well honestly, not much. The traditional five stages of sleep are relatively well studied, however the transitional stages remain somewhat of a mystery, despite being first termed over 150 years ago. Due to the prevalence of this phenomenon, many writers, philosophers and researchers have proposed possible uses for the hypnagogic stage of sleep. No less than Edgar Allan Poe, Thomas Edison and Salvador Dali related their experience of the state to their creativity and internal reflections. For example, Dali was said to hold a spoon over a tin plate while dozing. When moving from hypnagogia to deeper levels of sleep, his hand would relax, dropping the spoon onto the plate and startling him awake. This allowed him to quickly record the strange images and thoughts of the transitional state, something that seems to have clearly influenced his surreal art style. Honestly, we're barely scratching the surface. A lot of the publicly available discussion on hypnagogia is either misleading, uninformed or purely in the realm of philosophy and spirituality. Although it can be tricky to get a copy, I'd highly recommend Hypnagogia, The Unique State of Consciousness Between Wakefulness and Sleep by Dr. Andreas Mavromatis. Thanks for watching. Consider subscribing for more content like this.